Hey everybody, Todd Vandermeid back yet again for another edition of Freedom Steel. Former NRA contract lobbyist, Illinois gun law guru. We have some breaking news. Cue the alert. So, just a little while ago, Judge Amy Comey Barrett has denied the petition for an injunction on the Beavis v. Naperville case, the National Association for Gun Rights, uh, and that challenge to the Naperville ordinance and the state law, uh, the petition for a injunction appears to have been referred to the court and denied. This is an interlocutory appeal. This is not final judgment from the courts below. Everything we've done on all these cases to this point has been arguing over injunctions. Beavis did not get an injunction. Herrera did not get an injunction. They appealed up. The four cases in Southern Illinois got injunctions and were, and then the state had to appeal to the Seventh Circuit to, to overturn our injunctions. The court sided with the state, overturned the injunctions in the four cases from Southern Illinois and upheld what the courts did in the Beavis and Herrera cases in Northern Illinois. So with that, um, it looks like we're going to be down to whether or not the court is willing to take a cert petition on the subject matter. But given this, and I will point out, there were no dissents, which I think is good because this is an interlocutory appeal. This is midstream. This isn't after a final judgment. Uh, because when we had a final judgment on Friedman, Justice Thomas, I believe joined by Justice Alito, wrote a very pointed dissent from not granting certain Friedman back in 2015. So with that, um, I think that uh, the fact that there weren't dissents shows that they're looking for a final judgment on a case. That would put Bianchi or Duncan back in the driver's seat. Bianchi's been over a year, argued at the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals. Now, if, they, if our side prevails and the state of Maryland loses in Bianchi, then I would wager that they will try to go en banc to slow things down, which with Duncan being an en banc panel, probably puts Duncan back in the driver's seat to be in position for a cert petition for the 2024-2025 session of the Supreme Court. So that's what's going on right now. Quick down and dirty short on all this. It's not good news on this Thursday, Thursday, but it's some news. And uh, we'll have some more stuff to talk about tomorrow. But as always, uh, like, copy, subscribe, share around um, this video. And as always, Frag out.